Hey guys, welcome to the Jailbreak Nation. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak um, all the devices on Windows using the application Black Rain that you can see here. So, um, yeah, as I said, this will jailbreak the iPod Touch 1G, 2G, um, and also the iPod Touch 3G, although it is only a tethered jailbreak, which means that every time that you plug in um, or every time that you start up your device, you're going to have to plug it into the computer and run Black Rain um, because it can't turn on itself for some reason. But that's only temporary, and I'll have a video up as soon as that is fixed. Um, so subscribe for that. And it'll also um, jailbreak all of the current iPhones. So the three files that you're going to need um, is iTunes, of course. Um, if you're not already on 3.1.2 or 3.1, um, you will need to um, update uh, using iTunes um, and then you need to get the um, firmware for your device so um, all the links for these will be in the, in the description I've downloaded the iPod um, the 3.1.2 firmware for the iPod Touch 2G which is the latest firmware again all of these links will be in the description to the right um, and you can find um, everything for free. And then you're going to need uh, the application Black Rain. Black Rain is the application that actually allows you to jailbreak it. Um, it is new. Um, it's come out in the last half an hour or something of me um, filming this video and um, it advertises to jailbreak in 30 seconds. I have tested it and it does work. So um, as you can see here, on my iPod, I am on 3.0 firmware, so I'm going to um, run through how to um, update to the 3.1.2, which is the latest. So I'm going to open up iTunes here. Now, um, you're going to have to plug in your device. Now, here with your um, iPod up or your iPhone, you want to hold down Shift and Restore. Uh, just before anything, this does not allow you to unlock your phones. So if you want to obtain um, cellular service, um, there are other ways, but they're not quite um, checked yet. But uh, get back to me, and I will tell you how to do that as well. So um, for this, the iPod Touch and all the other iPhones that you're not unlocking, you want to um, go Shift and Restore. Now this will allow you to pick the firmware that you want to... Um, restore it to, so you should have already downloaded the one for your device make sure that it is the one for your device, not any other so you want to double click on that and then click restore now it's going to say extracting software um, it's a little green bar if you're on Windows Vista, if you're on Mac, something else just wait for that now I'll say verify an iPod restore with Apple um, this is the proper firmware now your device should have just turned off and come with the Connect to iTunes logo, as you can see here. Now it's going to say prepare an iPod for restore. Um, more loading bars. And it should flash white. That is good, that means it is working. More loading. Um, while it's loading, I might say... Um, Follow me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com forward slash the JB Nation. Um, so they're just the two letters JB, the JB Nation. Um, I'm going to have all updates with this kind of stuff on that. So um, yeah, make sure you do that. So now it is rebooting the iPod and um, it should come up with our little um, status bar right here that you can see. Just there. And I'm going to come back. Well, I'm actually going to fast forward and come back when um, it has fully loaded. Alright guys, you can see it is just about to finish. Um, after this is done, it should uh, reboot and it will come to the normal um, start screen slide to unlock so I'm going to fast forward again and once all of this has done, once it's rebooted 
we're going to get into the actual jailbreaking part. Alright guys, so you see here it has finished and is starting to reboot. Here it says your iPod has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPod connected and um, it should all work. So this is what you should see. Just let your iPod go. Um, I'm going to fast forward through this a little bit because it could take a little bit of time. Now you see the iTunes logo, connect to iTunes. That should just uh, flash off. And flash back on, got a little beep, and here we go. It is connected, everything's done. That's just a thing telling you how to edit the home screen. Now I will show you that it is in fact on 3.1.2. Can you see that right there? Version 3.1.2.7011. So that is that done. Now just here go, um, just call it what you want it to. Click done on iTunes and we should all be done. Um, now you can cancel this sync and quit out of iTunes. So now that you are quit out of iTunes, you are on the latest firmware 3.1.2. You can open up Black Rain. If I double click on Black Rain on, Ve um, on Vista, it's going to tell me to run it. Now you're going to be greeted with this here. Now this is the part that should take no time at all. You want to make it rain. Let's click on that. It should say waiting for iPhone, um, entering recovery. Your device should reboot and go connect to iTunes. Now running and here we, s we have the Black Rain logo. It says here your jailbreak is done once the phone reboots. If this was a Simplest jailbreak ever. Please donate to gahot at gmail.com by PayPal and everything like that. So, um, there you have it. Your device has been jailbroken on 3.1.2. Um, as you can see, that's the easiest jailbreak ever. It's taken 30 seconds, which is actually amazing. Um, they're just going to wait for the reboot and then it is going to finish. It's going to install Cydia. And you're going to have a fully jailbroken device on 3.1.2, which is fantastic. Alright guys, so as you can see, it is finished, it's rebooted. Now we slide to unlock. Go to the right, and we have the application Black Rain, which you can install Cydia, IC, and Rock from. But before you can do that, you're going to have to connect to your Wi-Fi. Um, I'm going to do that and then come straight back and show you how to install the stuff. Alright, so I have um, entered in my wife, my Wi-Fi information and now it is connected to the internet so I can um, download Cydia and Icy. So here we see on the next page we have the Black Rain application right there. You want to open that up and now you should be greeted with this screen can give the option to install Cydia, Rock, or um, and IC, and I install Black Rain. Um, I'm going to install Cydia and Rock and IC. In fact, um, I only recommend installing Cydia and then installing Rock from Cydia. But um, I'm just going to do it this way to save me some time. So let's go install in the corner. It's going to download Cydia. Um, it's going to download whatever you checked. So um, yeah. I'm just going to skip through this and come back when it is done. Alright guys, so everything has downloaded. As you can see here, I have all the applications, Cydia, IC and Rock, are uh, all ready to go. Um, yeah, again, thank you guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subs um, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash the JB Nation. And um, peace.